Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft 4.2 aircraft tutorial. And this tutorial will be going ahead and build the Petra Yakov PE-8. The Petra Yakov PE-8 was a Soviet heavy bomber designed before World War II and the only four engine bomber the USSR built during the war. It was produced in limited numbers and was used to bomb Berlin in August of 1941. It was also used for so-called morale raids designed to raise the spirits of the Soviet people by exposing Axis vulnerabilities. Its primary mission, however, was to attack German airfields, rail yards, and other rail area facilities at night, although one was used to fly the People's Commissar of Foreign Affairs from Moscow to the United States in 1942. It was originally designated the TB-7. The aircraft was renamed the PE-8 after its primary designer, Vladimir uh, Petrolokov, died in a plane crash in 1942. Supply problems complicated the aircraft's production, and the P-8s also had engine problems. As Soviet morale boosters, they were also high-value targets for the Luftwaffe's fighter pilots. The loss rate of these aircraft, whether from mechanical failure, friendly fire, or combat, doubled between 1942 and 1944. By the end of the war, most of the surviving aircraft had been withdrawn from combat units. After the war, some were modified as transports for important officials, and a few others were used in various Soviet testing programs. Some supported the Soviet Arctic operations until the late 1950s. So yeah, the PEA here, pretty awesome uh, aircraft, an absolutely large one um, as well. It, uh, again, was the only Soviet four-engine bomber of the war, uh, which makes it kind of a... Uh, special aircraft definitely a huge rarity in terms of that and uh, they were very important to the Soviets uh, air forces as again they were designed to basically bomb behind the front lines and uh, wreak havoc on German infrastructure and raise the morale of troops and stuff like that um, granted the effect of them who knows how well they actually did in that purpose but uh, still an interesting aircraft and um you know, one that definitely deserves to be built here. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at the PE-8 and see exactly what we have going on here. So the aircraft itself, uh, we do have it in the tri kind of color scheme. Very common for a lot of the Soviet aircraft at the time. It has a black underbelly as this was designed again for night operations. So it's a black underbelly. It has a tan, green, and black uh, color scheme on the top of the aircraft as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so then we have the obviously the four engines here the wings the wingspan on this thing is absolutely massive compared to other bombers at the time um, Definitely dwarfs a lot of the bombers like the b-17 and b-24 in terms of its wingspan really massive wingspan um, On the aircraft obviously in the front here. We have the glass tip nose bombardier section the forward machine gun uh, We then have the cable system here uh, most likely this the, the radio antenna uh, we then have the cockpit section. It has this very large kind of glass cockpit section. Um, so you have your pilots and all that stuff as you go back further. And then we have our first uh, turret, or anti, uh, basically self-defense turret, uh, located right here. And then we also have some turrets that are actually located on the landing gear pods as well, which is really interesting. Again, something you don't see too often with... Um, aircraft from this time period so some uh, anti-aircraft weapons there and that's really all it has for anti-aircraft um, armaments as you can tell it's very lightly armored for or lightly armed for the size of the aircraft it really is surprised we don't have any uh, you know uh, mid-waist gunners or anything like that I mean we do have a tail gunner so I guess is something there um, but uh, yeah no mid-waist gunners or uh, ball turrets or anything down the bottom so definitely very lightly armed I think for the size of this aircraft and obviously we have the vertical and horizontal stabilizers located here on the back so uh, overall really cool build should be an awesome addition to any of your World War II scenes especially if you have the Soviets involved uh, this here's a really cool bomber and will definitely look really cool with some of our uh, fighters and uh, stuff like that that we've done tutorials on for the in the past for the Russians. Anyways, though, with that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our first uh, layers. We're going to be going ahead and moving into layers one and two. Now, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these big ones is I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'm going to be building the entire center line on camera and then the right side. It'll be up to you guys to take the right side and copy it over to the left side. Besides that uh, radio antenna we're going to have on the top layers, uh, this aircraft is symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be done to the other, unless I say otherwise. So just keep that in mind going forward and um, everything like that. Now, this is going to be for the in-flight model only. There is no landed version, as the landed version does sit at quite a considerable angle, so it would need to be angled and a completely different design would need to be built for it to be properly uh, 
in a landing configuration. So again, this is going to be only the in-flight version for this tutorial. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this. The first thing we want to do is we want to place down two polished blackstone top slabs. This is again going to start the center line of our build. We're going to place down two polished blackstone top slabs, a polished blackstone upside down stair, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine more top slabs back from that upside down stair. We're going to go and then place down two dark oak trap doors after the last top slab there on the back, so you have your three uh, dark oak wood trap doors, and up here in the front we have two dark oak wood trap doors. So again, the front has two, and the back here has three. Underneath this upside down stair that we placed of polished blackstone, we're going to place down a polished blackstone top slab, a wither skeleton skull on both sides of the top slab facing forward and back, and then a dark oak wood sign here to the sides of that top slab. And that's all you need to do there for the bottom, and that is layer one. So definitely probably the easiest layer of this tutorial. We're going to go and then place down one, two, three dark oak wood trap doors to the side of our center line and then we're gonna take our polished blackstone top slab and go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then one two three dark oak wood trap doors after that and that is going to form your fuselage um, like so now at this point in time we're going to be going ahead and then building out to the side here so my recommendation would be to go to this third polished blackstone top slab and we're going to build a row of blocks one two three four five six blocks to the side and same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go then place down a polished blackstone top slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six black concrete blocks back. And actually, uh, real quick here, we're gonna delete this first black concrete block, and we're actually gonna place down an upside down piston if you're on Java. Now, if you're not on Java, I'd recommend instead of the piston to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone upside down stair instead as an alternative, um, because we will be using a special tool that's only available for Java to modify the properties of the pistons. So again, just go ahead and use um, a polished blackstone upside down stair like that instead of the piston if you are not on Java. To the sides of this block here, we're going to place down a Wither Skeleton Skull, and then we want to go ahead and go back from the Wither Skeleton Skull with one, two, three, four, five black stained glass panes, and then one, two, three, four, and five black stained glass panes. We're going to go ahead and place down another upside down piston. Again, this can be substituted out for a polished black stone stair, which would be facing that direction like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a Wither Skeleton Skull to the sides of the piston, and also this side here coming off the... the um, back of it or the side of it so basically it should look something like that there once that's done we could delete any of these lines or these uh blocks that we built out to the sides here with and again you'll be taking the same thing we do over here on this right side and copying over to the left side that right there is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number one of the layers one and two sorry of the build and with that let's move on to layer number three moving into our next layer we're going ahead and moving into layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a black concrete block that's going to sit on top of this dark oak wood trap door here and then we're going to place down a black stained glass full block and then a upside down piston again for the upside down piston i'd probably recommend another brick upside down stair so you'd have another brick upside down stair like this facing that direction in place of that piston we're gonna go then place down another brick top slab and then a dark oak wood trap door to go ahead and finish off that nose there like that to the sides of this slab we're gonna place down another dark oak wood trap door and another narrow brick top slab just like that to the side of the piston we're gonna go then place down a black stained glass block back and then um that is going to wrap up the nose here now for the center line, we're going to go ahead and go back from the black concrete block we just placed, and we're going to go ahead and place down an additional row of black concrete. That's going to go back a total of 19. So again, from that first block there, we're going to go ahead and go 19 blocks back, and it should overhang past this dark oak trap door uh, for the previous layer by three blocks. So in total, you're going to have 20 black concrete blocks here, and overhang by three on the back of the trap over past this last trap door here. We're going to go ahead and place down three upside down pistons here. I would recommend again an alternative instead of the pistons to probably go ahead and place down um, a black concrete block, a polished blackstone upside down stair, and then a polished blackstone top slab as an alternative to the three pistons. But again, for us on Java, we're going to place down three pistons upside down, three polished blackstone top slabs, and three dark oak trap doors to go ahead and finish that off. To the side here of the trap of the top slabs, we're going to place down three dark oak wood trap doors, and then one, two, three polished blackstone top slabs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty black concrete blocks forward, a wither skeleton skull here to the side, and then we want to place down 
um, a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 polished black stone ups and downstairs back. And then we're going to place down a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wither skeleton skulls along the side of that. So that is going to start to form up the fuselage. And again, um, you know, you'll be taking what we do on the right, right side and flip it over to the left side. Now when it comes to our engines, we're going to go ahead and expand upon these by starting off with a black stained glass block on top of this um, piston here or the upside down stair, whichever you have. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six and seven black concrete blocks forward to the side of this uh black stained glass block we're gonna go ahead and place down a black stained glass pane so again a black stained glass pane to both sides and we're gonna go ahead and grab our polished black stone walls and go back one two three four five six seven and same thing over here one two three four five six seven then we're gonna place down a polished black stone upstairs stair on the front here and then a wither skeleton skull wall to both sides of that stair like that once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a end rod. We're going to place down an end rod coming off this black stained glass going back. And then a chain like that to go ahead and create the tail gunner position. Then once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and skip two spaces. And we're going to place down two dark oak trap doors coming off those, uh, those space that we're skipping. And it's going to look something like that. So that right there is going to wrap up everything you have for... Uh, layer number three and with that we'll move on to layer number four all right guys so going ahead and moving into our next layer we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number four for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a black stained glass block that's going to sit on top of this dark oak wood trap door and then coming off of it we're going to place down a dark prismarine up sound stair like so and then behind the black stained glass we're going to place down three black concrete blocks just like that and then going back from the three black concrete blocks, we're going to place down a long row green terracotta down in the center of the build for a total of 26 blocks, ending on top of those polished black stone tops left in the previous layer. We're going to go ahead and take our black concrete, and we're going to place down a row of black concrete back. This can be a total of six, so it should overhang three past these three dark oak trap doors from the previous layer. Then we're going to place down three pistons upside down. Again, the alternative to this to the pistons would be a black concrete block, a polished black stone upside down stair, and then a polished blackstone top slab. So those will be the alternatives there to the three pistons. Again, for Java, we're going to place down the three pistons. Then we're going to place down three polished blackstone top slabs and then a dark oak trap door here on the back. We're going to place down a second trap door here to the side. And then we're going to go and go one, two, three back. And then we're going to place down one, two, three top slabs. And then one, two, three, four polished blackstone ups and downstairs. We then want to place down two black concrete blocks, and then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green terracotta, and then one, two, three, and four black concrete, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen green terracotta, a dark prismarine upside down stair, and then a zombie head on both sides here of this forward stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a green stained glass pane that's coming off the second block here, and then a uh, another one going back from that. We then want to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall. And then one, two, three green terracotta blocks. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uh, black concrete. And then we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four polished black stone walls, as well as a mossy cobblestone wall. And then we want to place down one, two, three, four, five green stained glass panes after that. Now, one quick thing I do want to go ahead and mention here. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the layer. Um, but for the aircraft tutorial, I'm going to be going ahead and doing the aircraft entirely in a green, just a flat green color scheme on the top where we would have the camouflage. At the end of the video, I will talk about the camouflage a little bit more in detail. Um, but just for the sake of the tutorial and making things easier for myself, that is how I'm going to be going ahead and structuring these. So if you're wondering why the aircraft is fully green up on top that is the reason why um anyways though once we get to this point we're gonna go ahead and jump into actually starting to build our um the kind of starts of our wings so let's get started now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this black concrete block this first one and we're gonna place down a row of four of dark oak with trap doors to the side we then want to place down a row of, of uh, four of polished blackstone top slabs and then we're gonna go ahead and place down three rows of two of black concrete and then one black concrete block. And then coming off those uh, black concrete, the rows of two, we're going to place down two more polished black stone top slabs to the side. And this one right here, we're going to place down three. We're going to go ahead and place down five rows of four of polished black stone top slabs going all the way across here. And these will just go across and connect up to, uh, or bleed out to the side here. 
So just like that. And then on these last two rows here, we're gonna place down dark ochre trapdoors here to the side. And then we're gonna go and then place down a total of three rows of five now of dark ochre trapdoors. So we have one, two, and three, just like that. Now, once we get to this point, we're gonna go and place down a black stained glass uh, pane on top of that glass pane there, and then also a black stained glass full block on top of there, and also again a black stained glass pane on this side of the block. We're gonna go take black concrete and we're gonna place down a row of three, followed by a second, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you're gonna have eight rows of three going across there, just like that. Um, after that's all done, we're gonna go then place down one, two, three black concrete going back and then we want to go and grab our polished black stone and we're going to place down one two and three upside down polished black stone stairs and the same thing over here one two three um, we're going to go ahead and also place down a total of one and two polished black stone top slabs down the center and then another upside down polished black stone stair to both sides and that is going to finish off what we have there for our forward engines. Now at this point, um, we're going to go ahead and then also get us set up for the uh, next engine, which we're going to be going touching in the next layer. Uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and go to this polished black stone up sound stairs to so the second one right here to the side. We're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks out to the side. So same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So after we have the space of seven out to the side here, um, we're going to go and place down a dark oaker trap door, come off the side of that block, and then one more back just like that. We can then delete these blocks as needed as we will no longer need them. And that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for this layer. So again, here is a top down view of what everything should look like so far once you have the right side copied over to the left side. Um, again, pretty straightforward stuff so far and we're really just kind of getting everything set up. The next few layers here are going to start to get into the wing section, so just be advised these are going to be the more difficult layers of the tutorial as the wings are always a little bit more trickier to do um, and have a lot of shaping and stuff like that going on. So just be prepared that these next few layers are going to be a little bit longer and going to, you know, be a little bit more involved. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five. Moving into our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with this build, uh, we're going to be going ahead and beginning with by placing down a black... Uh, stained glass block here on top of this up sound stair here in the front. We're gonna go ahead and then place down another brick up sound stair, and then a um, after that another brick up sound stair, we're gonna place down a black concrete block here. We're gonna go back from the black concrete with a row of green terracotta all the way down the center line of our aircraft. This here is gonna be a total of 36, and then we want to place down a row of black concrete. That's gonna be a row of six back from that. This is going to bring us to the very back here, and we're just going to go and then place down another brick upside down stair, and then an end rod and a chain like that to go and finish off the tail gunner. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a black stained glass pane here to the side, and then a black um, stained glass full block. We're going to go ahead and go place down one, two, three, four, five black concrete, and then one, two, three, four, five green terracotta, two red concrete. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, green terracotta, another black concrete block. Another green terracotta block, uh, black concrete. 1, 2, 3, green terracotta. And then another brick up downstairs here on the front. Uh, we're going to go then grab some wither skeleton skulls and come off the side of the front stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull to both sides like so. Going out to the sides here, we're going to go to the second uh, green terracotta block from the front. We're going to place down a green stained glass pane to the side of that, followed by one more green stained glass pane. We then want to place down another brick wall, a uh, mossy cobblestone wall, another brick, and then two more mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to build back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 green terracotta blocks, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mossy cobblestone walls, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 green stained glass panes two red stained glass panes, and then another green stained glass pane, just like that. And that's going to form finish up your fuselage. With that done, going to the tail here, we're going to go and work on our horizontal stabilizers. We're going to go ahead and go to the second black concrete block from the front. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five dark oak with trap doors to the side. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing one more time. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. After that, we're going to go ahead and do two rows of five, so an indent from the front. We're going to go to the second one from front, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. 
After that, we're going to go ahead and then do a row of four. So start on the front here, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three. So starting on this one, one, two, three. And we're going to go and do that a total of three times. So three was a three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And that's going to finish off what we have there for the outline for our horizontal stabilizers. Now, moving into the wing section here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and taking our green terracotta. And we're going to go ahead and build out one, two, three, four along the side here. Uh, we're going to go then go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green terracotta. And we're going to go ahead and just bring this across, connect this, and we can just fill this whole space in with green terracotta. So, really simple here. That gets filled in like that. Now, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and then take our end portal frames and we're going to place down one, two, three in this section and then one green terracotta block. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four end portal frames. Um, we're going to go ahead and take our dark prismary. We're going to place down one, two, three dark prismary and slabs and then two end portal frames. And then we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five uh, dark prismarine slabs across those trap doors. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to go forward one, two, three along the side here, and then taking black concrete, we're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black concrete blocks. And then we're going to go and do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen uh, black concrete blocks across. And then our next row here is going to be a polished black stone top slab that's going to come off this black concrete block here. And then we're going to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 black concrete forward. For this forward section here, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down two rows of three across. Then a row of three of black concrete. And then we're going to place down a total of one and two black concrete blocks going down the center here. Now on this... The very front of this black concrete block, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall just like that. And we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves black stained glass panes. And we're going to place down two black stained glass panes here to the sides of those black concrete blocks. Uh, once we have that done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak with trap doors. And we're going to place down dark oak with trap doors on the side of the, these two green terracotta blocks, this black concrete block, and the black stained glass pane here. Same thing will be done over here on this side as well. So just like that. Now, after that is all done there, uh, we want to go ahead and um, also swap this green terra or this black concrete block out for a green terracotta block. So it's going to have a bit of a extension there on the side. So just make sure that gets carried over to um, both sides there. Um, so anyways, this is what we have so far uh, for our wing and uh, getting everything set up for um, the engine now. So once we have this done here, uh, we have our engine formed up and we're going to go ahead and continue building off this. We're going to go and go to this first black concrete block here and we're going to build a row of polished black stone top slabs out to the side. So I'm just going to verify and actually the first three blocks are going to be upside down stairs. So we're going to have one, two, three upside down stairs and then two polished black stone top slabs. Now once we get to this point, uh, for my Java players, we're going to go ahead and get pistons. Now if you are not on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and using black concrete blocks instead of pistons but since I'm on Java I will be using a piston so I'm going to place down an upside down piston here and then I'm going to build this back a total of five more so this can be a total of six so we have one two three four five six again you could be using black concrete for this instead we're going to go ahead and go to the last two pistons so we're going to go and then go off the last two pistons we're going to place down three uh, pistons like this so coming off the last two and then sticking out by one and then we're going to go ahead and go off the last piston here, place down one more, and then a second one upside down back from that. And then we're going to go ahead and just go diagonal uh, from the pistons over like this until we connect up to this uh, black concrete block here. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take our black concrete and we're going to go ahead and then fill the inside in uh, with black concrete. So again, uh, we're just going to go ahead and fill this whole inside space. Basically, we create an outline and we're going to fill that inside with black concrete. So this is what it should look like here for the wing tip. Now, a few more things here we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our pistons and we're going to go ahead and continue to expand upon this. Uh, we're going to go and go to our middle four pistons here and we're going to place down another uh, row out to the side. So we have our four pistons and then we have two just like that. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take our, or actually, sorry, it's going to be two like this. So it's going to be one more. So it's going to look like this here for that wing tip. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, polished blackstone 
top slab that's going to sit right here. And then um, right after that, there's gonna be a upside down polished black stone stair. So we have the upside down polished black stone stair like that. And then we're gonna take our black concrete and we're gonna build um, one black concrete block behind the stair and then two next to these pistons. And then one more back just like that. And then on the sides here, this black concrete, we're gonna place down a polished black stone upside down stair here. And then we're gonna place down a total of four along this side. Now on the very back here, uh, for the engine, uh, that's really all we're actually concerned about. That basically brings us back to the, the back here, so we're pretty much good to go here. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and take our polished blackstone top slabs, and we're gonna go ahead and go off of the this stair right here, and we're gonna build one, two, three top slabs to the side. We're gonna go then go back one, two uh, more, so you have a total of three right here. So it is looking something like that so far for the time being. Now, uh, once uh, that's done there, we're gonna go ahead and then place down two, going back at an angle. So we have two, and then we're gonna go ahead and go with one, and then one, two, and then again, one, two. This one's gonna be one, two, three, and then we're gonna go and do one, two, and it should connect up to that top slab like that. So it's gonna create this outline that looks just like that. We're gonna go ahead and then take our polished blackstone top slabs and for the inside here, we're gonna fill in this uh, empty space between our outline and the pistons, black concrete, polished blackstone stairs, whatever. We're gonna fill this in entirely with polished blackstone top slabs to go ahead and shape the tip of our wing. We're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves some black concrete. We're gonna go ahead and build uh, a total of, it'll be one, two, three, four, four. So we have one, two, three, four uh, going forward just like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished blackstone top slab, followed by a second top slab, and then an upside down stair to both sides of this first top slab, and then we're going to go ahead and build our upside down stairs back to connect up to the uh, back there. So it's going to look like that. After that is all done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a, um, what is going to be a row of dark oak with trap doors. That's going to go off the side here of this, so it's going to go one, two, three, trap doors right there in that location. We're also going to place down two trap doors here. And then we're going to build a row of one, two, three, four back. And then we're going to go and build one, two, three, four, five over. And we'll fill in the space here with dark oak with trap doors. So it looks like that. And then we're going to go, and go from this uh, polished blackstone top side. We're going to build one, two, three, four, five over like that to go ahead and finish it off. Um, after that's all done though, that is going to wrap up everything we have for uh, this layer. We're going to again take the same thing we did on the right side here and translate it over to the other side. As I mentioned, these layers are a little bit difficult. We do have a lot going on here and these wings can be pretty tricky to get right. So just make sure you're taking your time, making sure everything looks good and lines up and definitely look at this top down view for reference if need be. So again, uh, make sure everything is good to go and once you're confirmed everything's good, that is going to conclude everything we have here for layer 5, and with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number 6. Moving into our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number 6. Uh, layer 6 here, again, is going to be a pretty long layer, so just uh, be prepared for that as we're going to be continuing to work on the wings. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and continue on. So for this, we're going to place down another brick stair on top that's upside down stair with a chain coming off the front of it. We're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass block behind the stair and then a black concrete block behind that. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to build a row down the center line here of the aircraft for a total of 40 blocks, and we're going to go ahead and place down two black concrete blocks and then a nether brick stair on the back here. To the side of the nether brick stair on both sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull, just like that, to go ahead and create our tail gunner. We're going to place down another brick stair like this, and then one, two, three, four, five, six of these prismarine stairs, and then one, two, three, four green terracotta, two red concrete, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty green terracotta, a nether brick stair, and then a wither skeleton skull to both sides of the stair. We're gonna go and then take our green stained glass panes. We're gonna build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glass panes. So starting off that third block from front, and then we're gonna place down a dark prismarine stair. One, two, three, four green terracotta, two more uh, dark prismarine stairs like that back, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen green stained glass panes, 
two red stained glass panes and then two more green stained glass panes to bring us to the back. Now for your uh, horizontal stabilizers, we're gonna go ahead and do these by going ahead and starting off with daylight detectors. We're gonna place down one, two, three daylight detectors, then one, two, three, and then we're gonna build one, two, three again out to the side. We're gonna go ahead and go back with one, right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and build a row all the way across and then a row across here. Just a little note here is that you may have the issue where these item frames do, um, or the uh, daily detectors do cause these trap doors to open. You can go ahead and manually close these trap doors or set them to change them to the night mode, whichever you prefer. After that is all done, we're gonna go ahead and then take our green, or dark prismarine stair slabs. We're gonna place down two slabs here, or three slabs, and then two slabs with an end rod. And then we're gonna place down a row of three, then a row of two, then one with a end rod and then we're going to place down two slabs one slab and an end rod just like that and that's going to create your horizontal stabilizers and have them finished off for the rest of the build now at this point we're going to go ahead and now work our way up here to the actual wings of the aircraft so we're going to go ahead and start building these up now to begin with we're going to take our daylight detectors we're going to place down two daylight detectors like this and then we're going to place down two dark prismarine slabs so it's going to look like that there we're going to place down another two dark prismarine slabs like that, as well as three, or add, yeah, we'll just do three and portal frames across. That's fine. Then our next row here is going to be five, one, two, three, four, five end portal frames. And then our next row is going to be quite considerably longer. It's going to be nine. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now at this point, everything forward, we're going to go ahead and get built. So we're going to go off of this start or this um, end portal frame. With our stairs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six dark prismarine stairs forward. We're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta and we're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or actually, sorry, six. And then we're going to place down a black concrete block, then two polished black stone slabs. Also, one thing I forgot to do here is I did forget to add a wither skeleton skull that's going to come off this polished black stone wall. So just make sure you go ahead and add that on. Now, after that's done, we're going to then take our dark prismarine stairs. We're going to go to the side here on top of that glass pane, and we're going to build a row of, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six going back like that. Then a green terracotta block and an end portal frame. Um, and then we want to go ahead and place down uh, two green terracotta blocks like this, and there are two, and then we're going to place down two dark prismarine slabs on the front there. Now, after that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then uh, take our and portal frames and we're going to go ahead and continue to build out the side we're going to go to the four from last one so this one here we're going to build one two three four five six so it's going to look like that there and then our next row is going to be a row of five so we're going to start on this third one so we have one two three four five next one is going to be a, another row of five so starting on the third one one two three four five then after that uh Row five, we're gonna do a row of four. So we're gonna go and go one, two, three, four. We can start on that middle one. Then we're gonna start on this one right here. We're gonna build one, two, three. And then after that, uh, we're gonna place down a row of two. So it's gonna be come off this one, one, two. Just like that to go ahead and finish off what we need to do for the end portal frames. Going ahead and uh, taking our dark prismarine slabs, we're gonna go ahead and build a row of one, two, three, four, five, six dark prismarine slabs. And then we're gonna go and do one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then a row of um, what is gonna be another row of one, two, three, four. And so after that row right there, we're gonna go ahead and then build one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, or actually, sorry, four. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So I realized I made a slight mistake here. We're gonna go ahead and actually build this row one more. So we're gonna have one more and we're gonna add on one more all along the rows here. So that's gonna bring us to this point and then we're gonna build this row here, row three. So you have three and then you have two. So it should look like that there for the outline with the slabs done. Moving to our daylight detectors, we're gonna place down two right here and then we're gonna build a row across that space. So you have row five there. We're gonna go then build a row of four, one, two, three, four. Then another row of four, one, two, three, four. And then um, again, a, a third row of four, one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna go ahead and build 
one last row of four. So you have four rows of four there coming off those dark prismarine. Now when you get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row starting this dark oak trapdoor. One, two, three, four, five, six trapdoors all the way across. Or, sorry, I should say daylight detectors. You will have the problem on the bottom here where these dark oakwood trapdoors do open. And if these pistons open up as well, you can either change the daylight detectors to the night mode. Or you can actually replace the pistons here with black concrete. Both are viable options, but um, I'd probably recommend swapping out those pistons if need be. Um, so it looks something like that. The last thing we need to do for this kind of... Um, you know, section right here is we're going to take our green carpet and we're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, just filling that space in right there. We're going to go ahead and then build uh, one right here, then two, and then another two like that, just to kind of have a little bit more flow with that. But that's just going to cover up that black concrete right there. Now, at this point in time, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green terracotta and we're going to build a row of green terracotta going straight forward from this um, end portal frame. We're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, forward, just like that. And I wanted to go ahead and double check here. And yes, after that row is seven, we're going to place down a dark prismarine stair. And then we're going to place down one more dark prismarine here, stair here to the side. We're going to take our black concrete and we're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight black concrete blocks back. And then a polished blackstone <clears throat> top slab like that to go ahead and finish it off. So um, that's going to be where we start to work on the under section of the wing for this layer. Uh, we do have this section we need to fill in here though that is visible from the top. So for this section here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our dark prismarine slabs. We're gonna build one, two, three more slabs like that. And we're also gonna take our uh, green terracotta and we're gonna go ahead and build a uh, row that is going to sit um, right here. So we're just gonna build a row of three of green terracotta across that space, just like that. So on your engine there. We're also going to place down another dark prismarine stair. And then at this point, we're just going to go ahead and take our green terracotta. And on the remaining um, blocks that we have, we're just going to go ahead and place them down on top of them. So really straightforward and simple. The remaining blocks here between the end portal frames and following the outline of our wing. We're just going to go ahead and fill that entirely in like that. So we have something that looks like this here. Now with that all done, we're going to go ahead and take our black concrete. And we're going to build a row of three of black concrete across. And then we're going to go ahead and build two more black concrete blocks that come off that. We're going to go ahead and also place down a polished blackstone wall and a wither skeleton skull on the tip of the wall. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it already, but you also want to make sure that you have a wither skeleton skull coming off this wall as well. Um, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak trap doors and we're going to build a... Or actually, first, before we do that, we're going to take our black stained glass panes, place down two glass panes on both sides of these black concrete blocks. Then a dark oak trap door on the side of these glass panes, on the side of the black concrete and on the side of the first two green terracotta blocks. So just like that, and we'll have that finished off there um, for engine, uh, our outer engines. Now with that all done, we're gonna go ahead and then transition over here to our um, outer wings. So for this, uh, we wanna go ahead and start off with our back one. We're gonna place down a one black concrete block here to the side. We're gonna go and then go out to the side and two forward. Again, out to the side, two forward. And again, out to the side one more time and um, two like that. We're going to take our black concrete, build a row all the way across here to connect those together, and we'll just fill in the inside in here with black concrete to finish it off. The next portion we're going to be working on here is going to be our pistons on the bottom of the aircraft. Now these pistons, again, can be substituted for black concrete blocks if you so choose, but uh, again, we're going to be using piston pistons for Java players. We're going to build one, two, three, come off that second from front black concrete block. We're going to go then go back at an angle and place down two back. Then we're going to go ahead and go back with one, and then we're going to go across three. And then we're going to go and go across two. And that's going to connect us to our black concrete right there. Again, just like we've done before, we're just going to fill in the inside here of that outline uh, between the black concrete and the outline of pistons to go ahead and completely enclose that like so. Now, once that's done, we're going to take our polished blackstone top slabs. We're going to build off this one, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go ahead and go forward with one, two, three, four and then we're going to go two forward out to the side and then we're going to do one and then we're going to do three out to the side four so three like that and then we're going to go ahead and bring this across and connect up to our pistons again we'll take our uh, polish blackstone top slabs and fill out the outline between the pistons and the top slabs so just like that to create the bottom there. And we also want to take our polished blackstone top slabs and place down a row of three across the forward three pistons. 
After that's done for Dark Goku trapdoors, we're going to place down one trapdoor here. We're going to go ahead and go out to the side. We're going to place down one trapdoor like this. Or we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go ahead and go back to us. We're going to have six in total. And then we're going to connect this. One, two, three, four. And again, we'll take our Dark Goku trapdoors and just go ahead and fill this space in between the top slabs and the outline of trapdoors. So that's going to fill in and create a design that looks like that. Looking at it from the top down view, this is what you should have um, right here. It does appear I missed the slab, so just make sure you have your wing completely filled in um, just like that. And uh, this is what, again, it should look like for the wing for this layer. So again, here's a top-down view of what we should have so far for the aircraft. As you can tell, the wings are just absolutely massive and account for most of the work we have to do on this aircraft. But uh, we are slowly getting there. Um, I think in the next uh, layer, we should have the wing tips. Out, the wings already brought up to their tips, and uh, really the next layer is going to be the last long layer we have. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number seven. Before we go and move on to layer seven, I want to go in real quick. We cover a few details I did forget to um, add on. So these quick details here are going to be the addition of two item frames on these two black concrete blocks. We're going to place down beds in those item frames, rotate them sideways, and if you're on Java, we'll place a dark oak with sign on the side of those blocks. Java is the only version where you can place down item frames and signs in um, the same block space. So if you are on Java, you can do this. If you're not on Java, you have to just place down the item frames and disregard um, the signs. Again, if you're on Java, we're also going to go ahead and type the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick so this command here precedent will give you this glowing stick we're going to go and go to this uh middle uh block here we're going to build a block out to the side we're going to place down a tripwire hook and then we're going to left click this uh tripwire hook till we get selected facing we're going to rotate this around till it comes off the wall and that'll be done on both sides um so something to go ahead and um you know add on there um something that's going to be a feature that you're going to want to have now, also um, on the left side, in the left side only, once you have that transferred over to both sides, we are going to be placing down a chain um, that will be on top of this tripwire hook. So I'm going to go ahead and just real quickly uh, make sure this gets translated onto this side as well. But on this side, coming off that tripwire hook, we do have a chain going up like that. And that is something you're going to need to make sure that you add. And again, that's on the left side and left side only. Um, other than that, though, that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have there. Um, again, for my Java players, we can go ahead and also take our debug stick. Um, and actually we'll hold off on that for right now. But um, anyways, that's going to wrap up everything I wanted to cover there. I did forget those little details, so I just wanted to go ahead and make sure those got added in. But with that, let's move on to layer 7. All right, guys, so going to move into our next layer. We have layer 7. Now, uh, before we go ahead and jump into this uh, layer here, I realized that uh, we are actually going to go ahead and need to take our um, daylight detectors, and we're going to need to make sure that we change all these daylight detectors to the night mode. Now, I know before I said that it doesn't really matter too much, you can leave them on day mode, but um, we do have a section of this wing that is going to need to be um, done with the daylight detectors on night mode just due to the way we have it structured. So I would recommend going ahead and taking the time now just to go ahead and go to each one of your daylight detectors on this top section and just making sure they all get turned to that night mode. Again, it's going to be a bit of a tedious process. I do apologize for it, but I'm going to go ahead and get that all set up for us and we'll be back here in a sec once I have it all done. And I went ahead and changed all the daylight detectors over. Um, you might even say that they kind of blend in a little bit better with the, uh, you know, top of the aircraft but again that's something you you have to decide for yourself but i think it looks pretty good um it'll work but we definitely need to do that to make sure everything uh works properly for this um this layer here and we'll talk about that when we get to there but anyways let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a daylight detector we're gonna turn that to nine boats gonna be on top of that black stained glass block there or that black concrete block we're gonna place down an air brick slab behind that and then we're gonna place down two of our um end portal frames we're going to go then place down a row of green terracotta that's going to go down the center line here. That's going to be a total of uh, 12. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a, actually we're going to make this a row of 13. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of black concrete. Then another green terracotta block, two of our end portal frames, and then we're going to build a row of four of dark prismarine slabs. Then we're going to build a row of six of your daily detectors, again turn to that night mode. Then we just want to place down four dark oak with trap doors back, a glass green stained glass pane, uh, three green terracotta blocks back, two dark prismarine top slabs, and we're going to place down dark oak signs wrapped around these top slabs just like that, and that's going to finish off the back there. 
for the vertical stabilizer. After that's done, move it back up to the front. We're going to place down a daylight detector to the side of the slab here, turn that to night mode, place down a second slab back, a dark prismarine slab, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dark prismarine stairs going back along the side here. We're also going to go ahead and place down a dark prismarine corner stair in this section here, black stained glass, dark prismarine stair, and then a another stair coming off it so this turns into a corner stair and then you have your normal stair and we just want to place down dark liquid signs on the sides of these two corner stairs like that. Once we have that done we're going to then place down one and two dark prismarine slabs then one two three four dark or um, daylight detectors again turn to that night mode and then one two three four five six dark liquid trap doors bringing us to the back of the fuselage. Once uh, that's all done there, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to the top of engine number one, or there are inner engines here. We're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors here, then a dark prismarine slab, and then a zombie head, and then behind that zombie head, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever. So just like that. So top of our engine there. Um, and then we get to our outer section here, and this is where we're going to go ahead and uh, basically build the uh, rest of that tip of the wing. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the... Um, engine or the outer engines here we're going to go ahead and start off by going in and placing down a black concrete block on top of this space here and we're going to go ahead and then place down two polished black stone slabs forward from it we then want to take our dark prismarine we're going to build a stair here and then we're going to go ahead and go back one two three four five stairs and then same thing over here one and then one two three four five in the middle space here we're just going to fill this in with green uh, terracotta and then after that we're going to build two end portal frames back a dark prismarine slab to both sides of this uh, end portal frame, and then an air slab coming off um, that one. Then we want to go ahead and take our zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head here to both sides of these end portal frames, and then one at a slight angle uh, going back like that. So that's going to basically uh, finish off what we have there for that back of the engine. Now, once that's all done, we're going to take our dark oak trap doors, and we're going to go off the slab. We're going to build one, two, three, four out to the side, and then one going back like that. So it's going to look like that there. Um, once that's done, uh, we're going to go and take our daylight detectors and we're going to build a row of one, two, three, four across the front here. Again, turn that to that night mode. Um, so like that. Then we're going to go ahead and build a, um, we're going to build a dark oak with trap door and then we're going to build one, two, three, four, and five and portal for, or, um, dark oak or, uh, daylight detectors turn to night mode. Then, uh, we're going to place down one, two, three dark oak with trap doors and again, one, two, three, four, five of these um, daylight detectors. Again, we'll turn on night mode and you'll see here we start to run into the pistons. So especially on Java, this is gonna be an issue. Um, so you will wanna make sure you turn those um, those uh, daylight detectors to that night mode. Um, after that though, we're gonna go and place down a row of dark oak trap doors. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. And then after that row of four, we're gonna build a, again, another row of five of daylight detectors. Again, turn to that night mode. We're going to go ahead and then build a, another row of four of dark oak with trap doors. So one, two, three, four. And then again, one, two, three, four, five daylight detectors. Like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then do again another row of four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four, five daylight detectors. Like that going back. And then again, we're going to do one, two, three, four dark oak with trap doors. And again, one, two, three, four, five daylight detectors turn to night mode and then this time we're gonna take our dark oak with trap doors we're gonna do one two three four five six and then we're gonna do three daylight detectors to the side there and turn those to night mode after that's all done we're gonna take our green carpet and we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, place down green carpet here on top of the top slabs blocks whatever like that and again we're just gonna go ahead and take our carpet and just kind of flow it into the wing a little bit better um, by bringing it forward along the side there after that's done, we're going to go and switch over to our dark prismarine slabs, and um, we'll also go ahead and grab some end portal frames at this point in time. We're going to take our uh, dark prismarine slabs, and we're just going to place down a row of six all the way across this forward um, lean edge. Then we're going to go ahead and build one, two, three, and then an end portal frame. This end portal frame, we're going to go ahead and go back with four more, so we have one, two, three, four. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and build one, two, three dark prismarines, then one, two, three end portal frames. Again, we're going to do one, two, three dark prismarine, and again, two, or sorry, three end portal frames. Then one, two, three dark prismarine slabs, two end portal frames, um, like that. Then uh, three 
Dark Prismarine. Or, um, so real quick guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and actually extend this by one more uh, end portal frame. And then we're going to do one, two right there. Then we're going to place down two uh, slabs again, then two end portal frames, and then one, two, three slabs all the way across that space. Like that, go and finish it off. After that's all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then grab our underwing materials. So we're going to need some black concrete, some polished black stone, pistons, and of course some dark oak with trap doors. Um, so underneath the wing here to go ahead and get started uh, for the black section, we're going to go ahead and build one and two black concrete blocks aside the side here. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, and then one. Uh, like that. Uh, going back. So it will form this uh, design here for that. We're going to go then place down a piston upside down. And again, the piston can be substituted for a full block and then a polished blackstone top slab. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and build a line of two pistons right here out to the side. And we're going to go ahead and then build one, two, three more back. So you have a total of four here. And then we're going to place down two polished blackstone top slabs. Uh, next uh, section is going to be two pistons come off those middle two in that row of four there. And then we're going to build three pist or three top slabs back. We're going to go ahead and then build one, two, three, four top slabs. Dark oak with trap door. And then we're going to build one, two, three top slabs. Two more dark oak with trap doors. And then we're going to build two top slabs here. And then one more dark oak with trap door like that. So that's going to bring us to the tip of the wing there. And that's going to finish off... Um, what we have for that so again that's what it looks like from a top down view and basically the last layer or the next layer we're going to be doing is going to be covering just putting the top on that so we are pretty much almost done with the wings which is really good um excited to get those done because those are by far the worst part of any aircraft build to do um anyways though without all the way i do want to cover real quickly i would recommend at this point taking the right side and copying over to the left side and once you have that done real quickly i'm going to talk about the difference we do have here on the side it's going to be on the left side again here, we're going to place down another chain on top of this one that we set up in the previous layer. And we're also going to place down a dark oak fence post that's going to be on top of this um, item frame. So just kind of going up from it. So just make sure you add those on um, to the left side here of the aircraft. But other than that, um, that's going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number 7 of the build. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into layer number 8. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer 8. For layer 8 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood, or sorry, another brick stair um, that's going to be on top of that black, or that second green terracotta block. Behind that, we're going to place down four black concrete blocks, then a green terracotta block, black concrete, green terracotta, black concrete, and green terracotta. So just kind of going ahead and, um, you know, filling that in like that. We're going to go then place down a wither skeleton skull on the side of the stair, and then one, two, three, four, um, black stained glass panes, green stained glass plane, black stained glass, green stained glass, black stained glass, green stained glass. Then um, after that uh, green terracotta block there, we're going to place down a piston um, like so. You can go ahead and also uh, place down maybe a end portal frame um, or a stone brick stair or something like that. But the reason we're using a piston here is because we can get that stone color, which is what we want right here. Um, so again, you can kind of pick and choose what you place there. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and then place down a stone slab after that block, another brick stair, a black stained glass block, another brick stair, and then an end rod, and then a chain going back like that. To the sides of the black stained glass, we're going to place down a, another brick stair, and on the sides of the piston and the stone slab, we're going to place down zombie heads on the side there. And again, if you're on uh, Java, uh, we can go ahead and take our debug stick, left click this piston until we get selected, extend it false, right click that and set that to true and get rid of that wood portion. Also on the left side here, and left side only, we're going to go ahead and place down a chain that's going to go on top of this one right here, and just a dark oak wood fence post on top of that fence post there. So just kind of extending those up one more block. Then moving all the way back here to the tail of the aircraft, we're going to go ahead and place down a... Um, we're going to go and do the tail real quick. I forgot to change the blocks over from the camouflage, so I'm just going to correct that real quick. Uh, but basically all it is, is it's going to be a green terracotta block on top of this one, and then one, two, three, four back, so you have a total of five. On the second to last block on both sides, we're going to place down a dark oak wood button, and then just a dark prismarine upside down stair on the back there to go ahead and complete the uh, back side of the tail. That right there is going to be it for that, and the very last thing we have to do here is to go ahead and go to our wing tip and to go ahead and build on that. So, uh, the tip of our wing here for the aircraft, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood uh, trap doors, and we're going to go ahead and build a row of one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go ahead and build another row of four, so one, two, three, four. And then this last row is going to be a row of two. 
Uh, once that's all done, we're going to take our green carpet and we're just going to place it down here on top of all the pistons, the black concrete, everything like that to go ahead and just cover up the um, top of the wing here. So it's just going to look something just like that. So really straightforward stuff and obviously you'll do the same thing over here on this side. Um, you know, obviously just having that in a green color. Then when it comes to our engine number two, we're going to do the same thing we did for engine one here. We're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors like this, a dark prismarine slab, uh, which is going to be followed with a uh, wither skeleton skull and then a zombie head right behind it like that. And that is going to basically wrap up everything we have there for that. And that's going to complete our wings and um, our engines. Now, quick few kind of quality of life things. I do want to go ahead and take the time now to go ahead and set up our props on the aircraft. So I'm going to go and grab the materials to do that. And we're going to go ahead and get these set up. Now, the props of the aircraft are really straightforward. And you can do the same thing for both sides if you want to. We're going to go and go to the side of this glass pane. We're going to place down a dark oak wood um, sign. And then we're going to go ahead and then build one, two, three with our skeleton skulls to the side. Then we're going to place down a polished black stone wall here. And then a second wall going up and then another wither skeleton skull on top like that and then on the bottom here we're gonna go ahead and go off the slab of the wither skeleton skull a polished black stone wall and then another wither skeleton skull come off the side of the block so it's going to create um the bottom like that for the engine uh we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here so polished black stone wall a second wall going up like that and then a wither skeleton skull and down here same thing we have a wither skeleton skull a wall and then we're gonna build a um, there's cool coming off that block like that and then right here we're gonna place down a sign and then three with their skeleton skulls out to the side from that so that is gonna wrap up everything we have there for the props you're gonna do the same thing over here on this side and you'll have that all finished off now if you're also on Java we'll take the time now to go ahead and take our debug stick and we're gonna go ahead and take our debug stick left click these um, pistons we're gonna go ahead and get the prompt selected extended false and we'll then right click them so you'll be using uh, the tool like that so again just like how we obtained it earlier i'll go over the command again in case you need it but this is the command here slash give space at p space minecraft colon debug underscore stick um, and then pressing enter obviously will give you this glowing stick and we do have quite a bit of pistons on the build um, so just make sure you go around and especially on the bottom here just find all your pistons give them a good right click and get rid of that wood portion just be advised that if you do place a block or break a block around these pistons, changing anything, um, you will cause the pistons to revert back to the normal state. So if you do plan on doing the ca camouflage for this aircraft instead of just using a solid green, it might be best to hold off on these pistons and to go ahead and uh, do the pistons after you do the camouflage because you'll be breaking and moving blocks and stuff like that um, going back and doing the camo. So just something to kind of keep in mind if you um, are interested in doing that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side, obviously of the wings. So, um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead now. We'll move on to um, our next layer, but uh, just wanted to go ahead and cover this as well so that those of you on Java don't forget. So I'm gonna move on to the next layer. Um, just make sure you get all these pistons done and I will see you guys when I have it all done and we'll be moving on to the next layer. So moving into our final layers of the build, we're gonna be going ahead and uh, finishing off with layers nine through 14. To go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna be working on our vertical stabilizer. We're gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall on the front here and then we're gonna build one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks and then just a dark oak wood button that goes up from the one from the previous layer. On top of this, we're going to place down a green stained glass pane on top of the wall, a green terracotta block behind that, two red concrete blocks, and then another green terracotta block, and another mossy cobblestone wall on the end here. Um, again, on the side of the button here, we're going to place down a dark oakwood button. Then we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block on top of this right here, two red concrete blocks back, another green uh, concrete block, and an air mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down an air mossy cobblestone wall here, one, two, three green terracotta blocks back and then there or uh, this time a green stained glass paint on the back here again make sure you continue the row of dark oak buttons going up the side then we're going to place down a green stained glass paint up here then two green or sorry three green terracotta blocks back and then a green stained glass paint and then we're just going to go ahead and take our dark oak trap doors and build a row of of uh, three of dark oak trap doors across the top and of course don't forget to bring your buttons all the way up to the top there as well after that's uh, all done, we're going to go ahead and then start to focus our attention now over to our cabling setup. Alrighty guys, so moving into our next segment here for the final layers, we do have to do our cabling that runs from the nose here all the way to the back tail. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this fence post. We're going to go ahead and go up and then over with a fence post and then build one more. So you have a total of four here that kind of goes 
um, up like that at an angle. We're also going to place down one more chain that goes on top of this one. Uh, we're going to then take barrier blocks, and barrier blocks here can be obtained by typing the command slash give at p space minecraft colon barrier. Um, they're also known as structure blocks on um, Bedrock Edition. I'm not familiar with how you get them on Bedrock, so you will have to look at that up for yourself, but you'll be using these basically invisible blocks um, to do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and place down our three barrier blocks across the space here, and we're going to place down buttons on the side of those barrier blocks on the inside. This first barrier block here, we're also going to place down a button on the bottom. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go off this button and then one back at an angle like this. And we're going to place down two buttons on the side of this barrier block here. We're going to go ahead and go back at an angle from this uh, barrier block again. And then we're going to place down a stone button here on the bottom of that block. So it's going to kind of look like it connects up to the cockpit. Then we were going to go ahead and go off this uh, stone button here. And we're going to build a row of one, two, three, four barrier blocks. We're going to place down two stone buttons on this side here, and then we're going to place down two stone buttons on the other side. So it looks like this so far. And then we're going to go off this button here. Uh, we're going to place down, again, a row three of barrier blocks. And we're going to have, again, stone buttons on the side of those blocks there. Then we're going to place down a dark oak with fence post that's going to go on top of this glass pane, and then an end rod right here. So the barrier blocks should connect up to that end rod just like that. After that's all done, we're going to place down a row of five of barrier blocks going back. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to place down stone buttons on the side here and then two on top, just like that. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then go off this uh, button here. We're going to build a row of a row of eight. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight barrier blocks. We're going to place down four buttons on the side of the first four blocks and then four buttons on top. So it's going to basically uh, create that design like that. We're going to go ahead and then go up and over with a barrier block, so it's going to be down the center line now. And we're going to go ahead and build another row of eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to place down stone buttons on the side of the first four like this, and buttons on top of the last four. And then we're going to go and take our barrier blocks, go up again, come off this button here, and just build this all the way back to connect up to the glass pane here. And we're just going to place down stone buttons all the way along the side there of those barrier blocks to bring us to the... Um, back of the tail aircraft connect up to the tail and we have that all done for the cabling and that right there is going to wrap up everything we have there for that and that is going to conclude everything we have here for layer uh or layers 9 through um, 14. with that all the way that is what your finished product of the aircraft looks like without the camouflage i think it honestly does look really good in green too so um green keeping just a solid green color is also definitely a really good option as i think it does look very clean in that as well uh, but anyways though we're gonna go ahead and now uh move ahead to the camouflage section and actually one quick thing i've noticed as well is that we do want to take some dark oak with trap doors and we're just going to place down a line of trap doors on top of these black concrete and green terracotta blocks all the way to this this part stopping at that last green terracotta block so just make sure that gets added on as well i did forget to add that very important you need to go ahead and add that on as it's um you know part of the structure of it anyways though that is going to wrap up everything we have now for layers 9 for 14 um with that we'll be going ahead and now diving into the camouflage so those of you that are interested in the camo the camo scheme we're going to be going ahead and talking about that now so um with that let's go ahead and dive over into the camouflage all right guys so when it comes to the camouflage of the aircraft it's really straightforward and you know really just kind of involves breaking some blocks and putting some blocks in um and really straightforward i'd highly recommend that if you're going ahead and trying to replicate a camouflage for any of these aircraft that you go ahead and you look up a picture of the camouflage you want to actually replicate and uh, use that as a good basis to kind of build off of um it's a uh, kind of a way to help you get a little bit more accurate and you can use the proportions of where the camouflage is and help that kind of coordinate where you put it on your aircraft that's how i built my camouflages so it uh, definitely works and it's definitely very helpful uh, it makes it a lot easier but basically what i did for mine is i went ahead and used green black and um tan colors to go ahead and create the top of the wing um basically camo, you know, the camo scheme now this camo scheme is only going to be in the sections that you built in green you will not be doing this in the black underbelly section um as that's going to maintain its black solid color and again this is going to be only for the um the top of the wing so you'll see here i went ahead and used smooth sandstones so sandstone slabs stairs full blocks i used birchwood trap doors and birchwood signs anywhere where the tan was going to be located and for the black i used polished black stone black concrete black stained glass panes um you know uh, all that uh, jazz and then also again for 
uh, the glass panes and the carpet. Um, since we don't really have a good tan color, I did use yellow. Yellow is the closest shade to tan. It's not perfect, but it does uh, does work in a way. Um, again, it's not perfect, perfect, and not my preferred. Um, block to use but honestly it's just what we have to work with so um, I went ahead and did the same design on both sides realistically would have been a different design on both sides but just a you know save time I went ahead and did um, this is the same design on both sides and you can see I just have a little bit of tan a little bit of black mainly most of the aircraft is going to be more of a green I'd say it's kind of a um, maybe about like a 40% green then um, or 60% green then t uh, 20 uh, tan and 20 uh, black uh, really is kind of a good way to look at it ratio wise uh, but I think it's a really good design uh, for it the camera's pretty simple and straightforward I'm kind of giving you guys a little bit of angles here so if you do want to replicate what I did for mine you're more than welcome to pause the video at any point and replicate my camo uh, again just kind of want to talk about what I did for mine and also in addition wherever you had the black especially if you're on Java uh, you can go ahead and change the color of the daylight detectors um, you can see here I went ahead and turned them to the night mode just be or the day mode to kind of mimic where the tan would be just make sure that you are careful about pistons and then I also went ahead and used pistons instead of the end portal frames wherever there was black to kind of help um, you know blend that color a little bit better so it just takes some playing around with um, to see what you like best and what works best for you but after that is all done that's going to complete the camouflage uh, for this build and that's going to wrap up my tutorial all together for the PE8. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do an abuse of this design, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This could be a link from the side of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys uh, give me proper credit for the build, your freezer for projects you guys are working on. And um, other than that, uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4 and I'll see you guys next time.